Hey, I'm Lynn Patty. I'm with Yoga for Change. Welcome to yoga today. Today we're going to start off in the chair and then we're going to move to the floor and then we'll end in the chair. The one thing that I love about yoga is it usually helps me feel better wherever I am. So sometimes I don't feel like even starting the practice. But once I do start, after about five minutes, I'm so glad that I did. So check in with your body and your brain and your feelings right now and think about how you feel. Are you feeling energetic? Are you feeling tired? Just notice that. And then at the end of this, we'll think about how we're feeling again. So let's get started. So if you're sitting on a chair, sit on the very edge of the chair. Press your feet into the floor. Place your hands on your thighs. Lift your shoulders up towards your ears and then soften them and let them go back down. Try adding some breath with your movement. So as you bring your shoulders up, breathe in. As you bring them down, breathe out. One more time. Breathe in, shoulders up. Breathe out, put them back and down. Good. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder and just see if you feel a stretch in the left side of your neck can place your fingertips on top of your head and just press it a little bit. You don't wanna force anything, shouldn't feel any pain, just a little stretch. Breathe in, let it go. Sit back up tall and switch your left ear towards your left shoulder and then gently put your fingertips on your left hand. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back up to seated. Lift your arms up. Let them touch in the center. Breath out, back and down. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, back and down. Now bring your left hand onto your right knee bring your right hand on the back of your chair sit up tall breathe in exhale do a twist from your waist just look out to your right side take one more breath in Exhale, twist a little bit further and see if your eyes can just look gently over your right shoulder. Now bring your right hand on your left knee, breath in, exhale, just kind of fold over. Get a stretch in your lower back. My arms are crossed. I'm gonna come up into eagle arms and then lift your elbows up away from your face and then press your hands towards the front of the room. I feel a nice stretch in my upper back between my shoulder blades. And then shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale your right hand to your left knee and hold on to the back of your chair. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And think about really pressing your hips into your chair. Big breath in. Exhale, twist a little further and look behind that left shoulder. Come back forward. Place your left hand on your right knee and then fold forward. Come up, crossed elbows, eagle arms on the other side. Lift your elbows up to shoulder height, and then move your hands away from your face. Take a breath in, breath out, and 
shake out your hands. Shake, 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 shake. All right, let's get up and do some movement now. Let's move your chair out of the way. Bring your hands beside you. This is star. So just stand like a star for a moment and then begin to just move back and forth. Look down, see if your feet, have your feet at 12 o'clock, about hip width distance apart, and then move to the right and move to the left. You can go fast, you can go slow, but try doing a breath out each time your hands land like this. Ha, 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 ha. Do a little breath of joy that kind of just can get our bodies woken up. So you take three breaths in and then you breathe out with a ha. So it goes like this. Ha! 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 ha. And you can just shake all that out. And just notice if you feel a little more, if your body feels a little more awake than it did when we first started. So let's go ahead and start with warrior one. So for warrior one, bring your right knee right over your ankle. Bring your hands up for warrior one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come to warrior two. For warrior two, bring your right arm out front and reach your left arm to the back. Look back and see if your left arm is in line with your front arm. So pull your shoulder blades back into your spine, press them into your body. And here, I like to say, and you can repeat after me if you'd like, I am a strong warrior. I am a brave warrior. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Keep lunging into that right knee. Come back to warrior two. Stand up, come back to star. We're gonna move right into our warrior on the other side. So now my left knee is bent over my left ankle. Hands come up. Warrior one. Warrior two. Look right over your front middle fingers. And here, let's say, I am a peaceful warrior. So you can repeat it out loud or you can say it in your head. How about, I am a smart warrior. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach for the back of the room, get a nice, nice reach. Great, come back up to star. Let's windshield wiper it out just a little bit before we move on to our next thing. Next, we're gonna go with triangle. So, star. Come right into that warrior two by bending your right knee over your right ankle. And then we're gonna straighten that front knee. Reach your fingers forward and then bring your fingertips to your shin. Lift your left arm up. Look up at your top hand. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist it out. Breathe in deep. Exhale, rinse things out. Breathe in, twist, come back to warrior two. And from here, let's try a half moon. So I am standing by a wall. So if you have a wall or a chair, you can hold on to something and just lift your left leg up and put your right fingertips down. I'm leaning against the wall. Try that on the wall. Breathe in, 
breathe out. Bring your left leg back down. Come up, back to star. Now we're gonna go with our triangle on the left. Come to warrior two. Look over your front hand. Straighten your front knee. Reach forward and down. Look up at your top hand, or you can look straight ahead. Do what feels most comfortable in your body. Breathe in, exhale, twist. Big breath in, expand, move your heart towards the ceiling. And I'm gonna move against the wall and go for half moon on the wall. So my left hand's coming down towards the floor. I'm leaning on the wall. And big open up for half moon. Stack your hips and then try to look up your top hand. Bring that leg back down. And let's shake all of that out. I feel that in my muscles. Let's work on a couple of balance and postures. We'll start off with tree. So for tree, your foot can be in a kickstand on the floor with your toes pointing on the floor, your heel on your leg. Bring your hands to heart center. Press into your hands and let your elbows come out. Take a breath in, breath out. So your foot can also be on your calf or it could be on your upper thigh. Just open your knee so you're opening your hip. I like to have mine on my calf. Anywhere but your knee. And then soften the joint of your standing leg so that your knee is not stiff. And when you're ready, grow your tree. And it can be any kind of tree you want it to be. Oak tree, pecan tree, apple tree. What kind of tree would you want? Stretch your fingers. If you come out, just come right back. That's the beauty in yoga. Shake it out, shake it out. And we'll go for a tree on the other side. Bring your hands together at heart center. Left foot presses into right leg. Soften your knee joint. Notice the crown of your head. Press the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Make yourself tall. Breathe in, breathe out. And when you're ready, grow your tree. You can also use a chair, use the wall, use whatever you need. Just make sure you're breathing. And then shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Let's go for warrior three. So press into your foot and then just lift your back leg. I'm gonna hold on to my chair a little bit to get started. Bring your hands out in front of you like you're reaching for the front of the room and you're pressing your foot towards the back of the room. Point your toes down to the floor and reach and breathe. Awesome, we'll switch sides. Left foot's on the floor, lift your right leg. Reach, reach, reach. Really ground down into your standing foot. Just make sure you're looking down kind of towards the floor. You wanna keep your neck in line with your back. And breathe. Come back down. <clears throat> One more balance and posture. We'll uh, go into eagle. So for eagle, come into chair. So chair, bend your knees, bring your feet together. Bend your knees a lot. And it's like you're sitting in an, an imaginary chair right behind you. 
I feel this in my thighs. Notice where you feel it. So we did those eagle arms earlier. So bring your right leg over your left leg. And again, you can have that kickstand or you can have your foot up in the air and bring your right arm under your left arm. Or you can always bring your elbows together to touch. Find a spot to stare at that's not moving. Notice if it's easier to balance when your eyes are focused on one thing as opposed to looking all around the room. For me, balance is better when I focus on one spot. Now this is when you really need to shake out your legs. Come back to chair. Bring your left leg over and your left arm under. Sink a little lower in that eagle. Lift up your elbows, move your hands away from your face and find that spot to look at. Continue breathing in and breathing out. And when you come out, just come right back in. It's like with anything else that we do in life, if we don't get it right the first time, we keep trying, you don't give up. It's hard to do sometimes to keep trying, but it's usually worth it. Let's go ahead and come back to our chair. Sit up tall, sit about in the middle of the chair, bring your right foot on top of your left thigh. This is a modified pigeon, so it's a nice hip stretch. So notice if you feel this in your hip. You can lean forward for a little more sensation. Now nothing in this should hurt. It should not hurt at all. So if you're feeling pain, back off a little bit or stay seated, sitting up. If you do feel some sensation or some pulling, send some breath to that area. We'll take a couple of more breaths here. Bring your leg back down, move your leg side to side. And then place your left foot, your left ankle on your right thigh. Sit up tall. Notice where you feel it on this side might be different. And if you'd like a little more, just lean forward. You don't have to go all the way down. Just lean where you feel a little bit. I feel this in my left hip. You might feel it somewhere different because all of our bodies are different. One more breath in, breathe out. Go ahead and sit back up. Bring both of your feet on the floor. It's time for our rest time, our final rest. For this, you can stay seated in your chair. You could sit on the floor with your back against the wall. You could lay down on the floor or where, wherever you are. You can just make yourself comfortable. Your eyes can be open. Your eyes can be closed. Just do what feels best to you. Go ahead and find that comfortable spot. Close your eyes if you'd like to do that. Right now, just listen for the sound of your breath. You don't need to change it. You don't need to do anything with it, but just listen to it. Notice your breath.
squeeze your hands together really tight, relax them and let them go. Scrunch your toes up real, real tight and then release and let it go. Squeeze your calves, squeeze your legs together real, real tight. You can lift them up a little bit and then just let them soften. Squeeze your thighs and your hips, squeeze tight. Soften and let it go. Scrunch your shoulders up to your ears, hold it really, really tight and let them soften and move way away from your ears. Squeeze your face like you just took a bite of a sour lemon. Squeeze it tight, tight, tight. And then let it soften. Notice your forehead. Notice your forehead <clears throat> if you're frowning or if your forehead is soft. Think about your forehead and let it soften, especially that area right between your, your, your eyebrows. Soften your cheeks. Soften your mouth. Move your tongue down away from the roof of your mouth. Soften your neck and your shoulders. Just let your shoulders go. Notice the sound of your breath. Notice if your mind starts to wander. When your mind starts to wander, because it probably will, just come back to the sound of your breath. So thoughts might come and thoughts will go. Sometimes those thoughts are worries about what's gonna happen next or thinking about what happened yesterday. Right now, the only thing is to focus on the now, on breathing. Think about being beside a stream. You can kind of listen for the sound of the water rushing. Think about those leaves or some leaves floating along the stream. So imagine when a thought comes up in your head, just place that thought on the leaf and let it float down the stream. is so normal for thoughts to come and thoughts to go. Let those thoughts just float down the stream. Come back to your breath and come back to more thoughts that are probably coming in, but just place those thoughts on another leaf and let them go. Notice whatever part of your body is touching the chair or the floor. Notice the air touching your skin. Is it cool? Is it warm? Notice any sounds that you hear Besides the sound of my voice, is there anything you hear outside of the room that you're in? Just notice. Take just a couple more breaths. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Move your head from side to side. When 
you're ready, open your eyes. And just notice how you feel. Do you feel any different than you did before you started? Does your body feel different? Does your mind feel any different? Just notice. We will uh, finish off with some bunny breaths. So bunny breath, you breathe in three quick breaths in your nose and then blow it out your mouth. It's like this. Do it with me. One more time. Thank you for coming to yoga today and know that you can practice yoga just about anywhere you are, with or without a teacher. Take some breaths with some movement. Notice your breath. Enjoy your day. Thank you.